this is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matthew's Gym Marbella. We're in Las Vegas, it's big fight week. With me I've got the editor of Boxing News. Would that be right? Is that your correct title now? That is my correct title. I've yeah, got, yeah. It's I've a great honour. Christie, the editor of Boxing great, News. Great honour to be editor of, how, of Boxing How are you finding News. the job, mate? Yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah, it's really, really hectic. We've got so many platforms uh, now that we're trying to manage on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and also, I'm pleased to say that in 1909, on this very day in 1909, we published our very, very first issue. Wow. So, yeah, 100 and 106 years old today. You know the man's taking the job seriously when he's pulling out the dates and the trivia. <laughs> he's on it. He is absolutely on it, honestly. How is the, the Boxing News Editor 2015 tattoo coming along? Have you got that done while you've been out here? Still designing it. Still designing it? Yeah, still designing Work it. Work in progress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> May of Averto, big fight week. A little bit anticlimactic from my point of view. There's not been as many people here as we would have probably liked uh, in terms of ex-champions and current champions coming into the media room, but it's starting to feel like big fight week now, isn't it? It is, it is a little bit, yeah, but it's, I think particularly because it's come straight after the Manny Pacquiao fight and the, the contrast is, is, is so obvious. I mean, I walked in this, I mean, we're kind of waiting now to go in for the weigh-in and I walked into the arena a few hours ago just to see what the setup was um, and it looks like they've got about a third, maybe a quarter of the arena. For Mayweather Pacquiao, of course, it was the whole thing and it was electric at this point. The atmosphere was electric. We haven't got that yet with May with Alberto, and I think that's understandable. Do you think it's a case of the public haven't took to Berto, or they expected Floyd Mayweather to maybe name a tougher, tougher, higher-ranked opposition for his last fight? What What are your thoughts on that? Mate? You can't. You, there's, there's no getting around the fact that Andre Berto has done nothing to deserve this fight. Um, Mayweather can make can, can say that he he gave the fans what they wanted with Manny Pacquiao, but there is still kind of a feeling here. It's like, my name's Floyd Mayweather, therefore I'm gonna fight who the hell I like, and I wanna fight Andre Berto, so I'm gonna do that. A few years ago, Andre Berto was thought as a potential future opponent for Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people thought his speed and his power might give, give Floyd some problems, but I mean, he, the, the losses to Victor Ortiz, Robert Guerrero, and then Jesus Soto Carras really did seem to show that, that Berto had reached his level. Um, He's going to have to go to a whole new level that we haven't seen just to be competitive, I think. Also on the card, Hammersmith's very own George Groves as he bids to become WBC world champion. First and foremost, what do you, what, how do you predict George Groves' chances coming into this against Paddy Jack? I, I really fancy him to do it. I really, really fancy him to do it. I mean, he looks, we've, you know, we spoke to him, we've seen him about this week. He looks pumped. Um, he looks like he's made the weight really well. He doesn't look remotely drained. Um, and yesterday at the, at, the, at the final press conference, um, it's just almost like a maniacal glint in his eye, uh, as if he really, really is intent on winning this world title. I haven't been, I'm still not convinced. I mean, my only doubt is that I haven't been convinced that he's fully recovered, perhaps mentally, from the Carl Frotch rivalry. Wow. Um, so we're, we're going to have to see. A lot of people are picking George Groves in this, so it's, a, it's kind of a contrast to the, to the Carl Frotch fights in that they were almost 50 50 matchups, particularly the rematch. Whereas the majority are expecting George Groves to win this. Whether that will have a factor, I don't know. And the other thing we've got to take into consideration is Badu Jack. Now, he's not. He, 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 it was an upset when he beat Anthony Durrell for the title. However, often you see these fighters, which are kind of deemed as, as, as kind of average or whatever, they step up a level when they, they become world champion. So we may see a whole new Badu Jack in there against George Groves. We don't know. For me, it's, it's, it's the most intriguing fight on the card. We've seen many fighters sort of scrape their way across the line to winning the title and as you said then transcend their career to new yeah, heights yeah. with that added confidence of having exactly, the belt. Yeah, it, yeah. it makes someone grow within themselves, doesn't it? With that said, with the Mayweather his Mayweather buddies and his mentor fighting on the card, do you think that'll make him that little bit more comfortable, maybe more relaxed coming into this? I don't know. Well, George was George was kind of saying that, you know, when he won the title, he's you know, he's got all these people around him, Mayweather might have been at ringside to to kind of cheer him on and what have you. But you know, ultimately, a lot, of the, a lot of the guys are fighting on this card. A lot of the Mayweather team are, are fighting on the card. Floyd is obviously going to have his hands full getting ready for, for the Andre Berto fight. So it might, be, it might be a bit of a contrast. I don't know. I don't know. But it's, I, I think, rather than it being in Badu Jack's favour, that it's at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas on a Mayweather bill, it's, it, it, it favours George Groves. Would you say the super middleweight division is Britain's best division at the moment, currently, in your opinion? Um... Off the top of my head, yeah, without, yeah, I mean, you, you know, with Groves, De Gale, um, the likes of Callum Smith coming through, 
it's it's a hot bed of talent for, for, for British fighters, isn't it? Um, and I think if Groves wins this, it opens the door to some really tasty domestic fights, probably next year. How big would that unification be with old arch enemy James DeGale, in your opinion? Could it eclipse what we've seen at Wembley with, with George Groves and Carl Frost? I'd be surprised if it eclipsed it. I think, I, I, but what, what Groves can do well is he'll get under the skin. I think he's already, he's already under James DeGale's skin. But what made the, what made the Frotch rivalry was so interesting was, 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 was Groves' antics and the fact that he was clearly winding Carl Frotch up. And then he performed so well in the first fight, the second fight everybody wanted to see. Um, whether a rival with De Gale will live up to that, I don't know. But we did see even the first fight, which was what, three years ago now? Um, when they were both really, their careers were in, in their comparative infancy. Um, there was a lot of interest around that one. So certainly it would be a huge fight domestically. All right, well, listen, thank you for giving me some time. I said I really do appreciate it. It feels weird not seeing uh, Tristan with the giant muscles floating about flexing his pack somewhere. So I hope this is, if you're watching, I hope you are OK. And as I said, Boxing News hasn't collapsed, but everyone's still sort of alive. So, yeah, thank you for giving me a bit of time, mate. No, I appreciate it.